video blogs so far have looked at all the various aspects of piano playing that you'll need to know when you first start. Things like the bass clef, treble clef, looking at some of the notes, the stave, basic rhythmic patterns. But today I'm going to just talk a little bit about my new book and here it is. It's called So You Want to Play the Piano and it's available, well, everywhere online and some music shops as well. And I'm absolutely thrilled it's been published. It's taken me a year or two to work on it. And it looks at all the necessary aspects you need to think about when you first start to play. Now, that might seem quite obvious, but unfortunately, many people don't really know how to start off in the right way. And as I've taught the piano since I was 15, alongside my performing career, it's been a long time, one thing I have noticed is that it's absolutely crucial to start at the beginning correctly. And there's very little advice available on these aspects. In fact, when I started to do my research, I was shocked that the only publication that's similar to this was actually published in 1976 in America by a man called James Bastian, and it's called A Parent's Guide to Piano Lessons. It's a very useful little book, but it's a little bit outdated now as it's so many years old, and it focuses, of course, on the American market as well. So I thought I would do something a little bit more up to date. And this book consists of 10 chapters looking at the many different things we need to think about. We all know that playing any instrument is hugely beneficial. Whether you're a child or an adult, it will really focus your mind. And there are so many reasons for learning the piano, and I go through them all in the book, but it's absolutely a wonderful hobby. Now that's the first chapter. The second chapter deals with all the different types of pianos and keyboards that are on the market. Now I don't look at brands or manufacturers because this is personal taste really, but I do look at the different things you need to think about when you're buying an instrument or you may want to hire an instrument. You may even be given a piano, but you will definitely need a piano if you want to make some progress in your playing. So things like action and how the piano feels are the most important things to think about at the beginning. I spent two chapters looking at probably the most important aspect when you're starting out on your musical journey, and that is trying to get the right teacher. So I look at the reasons for, for needing a teacher, the best way to find one, and when you found one, the crucial thing of looking at whether they're suitable and whether they're most importantly qualified. These are, this is a very important aspect, I think, in this book. I also look at all the usual questions, like what age you should start your children playing, how much practice they should do, whether you should go to your teachers for lessons or should they come to you, what you should be paying for lessons, all that kind of thing. There's t several chapters that deals with those aspects. I also look at piano books, because there are so many on the market. It's a completely saturated market. And you really need to know the things you need to look for the particular elements in, the, in a book which will make or break your learning experience. I've talked a little bit about these things actually in some of my video blogs as well, so you might want to look at those, but there's all of that in here. I also look at basic posture, hand positions, basic techniques, so you, you, you know roughly what you should be doing at the beginning. And I spent a chapter looking at exams. You might want to not, not want to take exams, but it's a good idea to know about the exam boards and what exactly will happen on an exam day, what you will have to do to prepare for an exam. I also look at performance practice in a chapter and the benefits of playing in public and also the benefits of playing in music festivals which are very popular, especially here in the UK. So it looks at hopefully most of the aspects you need to think about when you're going to start to play and I really, really hope that it will help you start and make a positive start on your musical journey. And I'm just thrilled it's been published.